Even before Reveille had sounded, competitors had already finished their first event at the 2014 Drill Sergeant of the Year competition. Held annually at Fort Jackson, South Carolina since 1969, it wasn't until 1972 that the Army Reserve entered the contest. And this year, on the 50th anniversary of the Drill Sergeant, two non-commissioned officers, both from the 108th Training Command, competed with one goal in mind, to win. Everyone out here wants to win. That's why we're out here. We're out here to be the best. Um, so it would be a, a bittersweet feeling due to the fact that it would be bitter because you lost, but it would be a good feeling to know that you came out here and you competed against the best and you did the best you could and that you were beaten outright by a better competitor. Staff Sergeant Christopher Crossland from the 95th Training Division and Sergeant First Class Alex Montero of the 98th Training Division spent four grueling days competing for the title of Army Reserve Drill Sergeant of the Year. The idea of giving in not once crossed their minds. A little exhausted. exhausted. Still motivated. Two, three, one, three, one, one. He's still a winner in my eyes. He'll take it pretty hard, but... He's still a winner. I mean, to make it this far is, is an honor, so I'm proud of him. Those were the thoughts of Crossland's wife, Tricia, who took a week's vacation to come out and support her husband through every event of the competition. Through four vigorous days, the candidates were evaluated on their abilities to complete and instruct everything they teach to new soldiers entering the Army's initial entry training program. Events ranged from drill and ceremony to conquering Victory Tower and the confidence course. How do you feel after that? Like a million dollars. <laughs> what it's all about. That's why we're here. Be excited about it. Be motivated. This is a this is a great opportunity, not just for the progression of your career, but to to show honor for the 95th Training Division. It's drill sergeant Christopher Crossman. They both gave it their all. As the story goes, in the end, there can be only one. From the Drill Sergeant School at Fort Jackson, South Carolina, I'm Army Sergeant Brian Hamilton.